My name is Cabello Busilong, and I'm a CAF General Coordinator. Um, I'm in, e in Cairo this week uh, because I will be taking charge of the first leg of the CAF Champions League semi-final between Al-Akhli from Egypt and uh, Esperance from Tunisia. Uh, today I've come to the stadium for the first time to do my normal inspections and I can say um, that I'm very pleased um, at what I'm seeing at the stadium. The last time I was here was in 2019 for the Africa Cup of Nations when I came. Um, I was based in Suez, but I came here for a match and the stadium looks completely different uh, from the time that I was here uh, till now. Um, you can see a lot of work has gone into the stadium um, to make it, um, you know, a home stadium for, for, for Al-Akhli. Uh, as you walk around the stadium, you can feel the sense of history, the sense of pride, um, and the sense of, uh, you know, professionalism uh, in the stadium. Every, all the, all the, you know, facilities within the stadium are top notch, uh, they're world class. Uh, the dressing rooms, um, the VIP areas, the media centers, uh, but most importantly, the pitch. Um, you know, the pitch is a carpet. It's it's a beauty to play football on. Uh, any team would love to play football on a pitch like this. So uh, I really applaud um, the club for taking the initiatives that it has to make sure that uh, the stadium is a world-class stadium and the legacy of uh, the Africa Cup of Nations coming to the country has continued to 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 grow and it's not left as a white elephant, um, which is very important because it's also, as general coordinators, we go to a lot of venues across the continent and this is the type of professionalism we want to see. And we hope that obviously when other clubs and other visitors come to the stadium, they can also see that the level that we need to be at as African um, football in terms of um, improving our, our infrastructure and our venues um, and having a place to call home you know it's very difficult on the African continent because um, a lot of clubs don't own their own stadia it's very difficult to own stadia on the African continent but this shows that you can reach a partnership uh, with with authorities to make sure that um, you know football clubs do feel like they do have a home and they do belong uh, in their communities because obviously that's where uh, football clubs are based in their communities and also for the fans to come to a stadium like this and see um, you know how it looks uh, they also have a sense of pride so I think um, al has set the bar very high in terms of um, showing the way in terms of how football clubs across the continent, especially those participating in CAF um, Interclub Champions League and Confederations Cup, um, can, can, can aim towards to make sure that they also have a, a long-term solution for a sustainable and commercially viable home.